the Family by Miriam B. Schiffer. With a hug goodbye, Stella dashed to her cubby and raced to her spot. Miss Abbott had a surprise for the class. We're going to have a celebration for Mother's Day, she said, and each one of you can invite a special guest. Jonathan and Leon said they'd invite their moms. Carmen was sure her mama would come. But Stella had two dads. Everyone else had a mother. Howie had two. Stella would be the only one without a mother at the Mother's Day party. That afternoon, Stella and her clay stared at each other. The next day, Stella worried about the party when she should have been worrying about other things. All week, Stella's appetite was gone. What's wrong, Stella? asked Jonathan. I have no mother to bring for the Mother's Day celebration. No mother? asked Leon. But who packs your lunch like my mom does for me? Daddy knows just what I like, said Stella. The problem isn't lunch. It's that I have no mother to bring for the Mother's Day party. No mother? asked Howie. But who reads you bedtime stories like my mother's do for me? Daddy and Papa read stories to me, said Stella. But who kisses you when you're hurt? Garmin asked. Well, that's a long answer, said Stella. I get lots of kisses when I'm hurt, either from Papa or Daddy or Nana or Aunt Gloria or Uncle Bruno or Cousin Lucy, but I still have no special guest for Mother's Day. Jonathan asked, why don't you invite them all? What a wonderful idea, Papa and Daddy said. But Stella wasn't so sure. Soon the children were crafting invitations, decorating, and preparing gifts. Stella worked harder than everyone. The big day arrived. Daddy, Papa, Nana, Uncle Bruno, Aunt Gloria, and Cousin Lucy went with Stella to school. She had so many guests. Stella hoped it would be okay. The party was better than Stella had imagined. Howie came with his two moms, and Jonathan brought his grandmother while his mom was away. Stella had the biggest crowd of all. They squeezed into the story circle and made frames for their art. Stella thought the day was turning out fine. In fact, it was better than fine. Papa was a big hit. Later that day, Miss Abbott was worn out. Stella told her not to worry. For Father's Day, she wouldn't bring nearly as many people just two. The end.